नमस्ते आई निशु पांडे वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस बिट्स ऑनली ऑन भारत फर्स्ट दिस सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्प एंड अ यूनिक मैनर बाय द एक्सपर्ट साइंस बिट्स इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक रेजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू डिस्कशन ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड पोटेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कंपिटेटिव एग्जाम्स यू हैव ऑल्सो ए चांस टू आस्क योर डाउट by the form whose link has been provided in the description box below do make use of this opportunity now i would like to welcome our science expert dr tv venkateswaran sir who is here with us to answer the question dr tv venkateswaran sir is a senior most scientist at vigyan prashad new delhi he is also the founder of india science wire so let's begin the session with today's question the central dogma of uh, genetics is that the uh, genetic code is encoded in uh, dna i mean in most species okay and uh, in a cell the uh, dna creates rna whenever uh, it wants to produce certain uh, protein okay so some part of the dna is copied into uh, rna that's called uh, transcription and the rna comes out i mean if it, if it has a, a cell nucleus it comes out of the cell nucleus and then the genetic code in the rna is uh, translated and uh, the protein is constructed using amino acid amino acids are the building block okay so this is a central uh, uh, top of uh, genetics so now uh, if you look at uh, human being okay we have about uh, 20000 genes okay and there are about uh, 2000 transcription factors which uh, uh, makes the uh, gene switch on and switch off okay so uh, roughly there are uh, 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 about uh, 10 copies of mrna in cell at every time okay so all these are made right and then uh, it uh, translates into uh, something like about uh, 50000 proteins so this is what uh, happens so uh, mrna roughly uh, is uh, active uh, for 9 uh, hours roughly 7 to 9 hours and after that it degrades similarly a protein once produced is uh, there for about 46 hours and then uh, it starts uh, degrading these are all of course off like not uh, uh, every protein will be there for 46 hours okay so this is, uh, this is roughly the uh, kind of action that is taking place the uh, uh, biochemical reaction that is taking place inside the cell now let's look at uh, different cells like uh, we have neuron which is a part of our uh, nervous system and brain then we also have skin which is uh, like a epithelial cell okay both the cell have the same amount of dna same copy of dna right but then only some genes are activated in neuron and some other genes are activated in uh, epithelial cell only because of that they can differentiate and behave like two different uh, uh, cells imagine a dj okay who has uh, uh, let's say uh, devotional music and also uh, party uh, dance music so the same dj when the person is called for uh, let's say uh, for some uh, devotional festival like uh, a yeah, mata ka uh, uh, you know worship uh, fun- function he goes there or she goes there and plays devotional music but uh, if the same person is called for let's say a bathre party the person goes there and uh, the dj plays uh, party songs right so in the same way our cells plays right kind of uh, uh, genes in a different part of our body that's how different cells emerge okay how does this happen that's a question why in a particular cell only some genes are uh, activated the rest are all in dormant stage that's a question the uh, transcription factor is one of the important uh, uh, biochemical which modulates uh, which genes will express i told you there are more than uh, 2000 transcription factors right so depending on different uh, transcription factors their strength 
inside the cell. The cell will either become a red blood cell or a pigment cell or a skin cell or a lung cell. Uh, okay, so or a muscle inside our body, right? So these are all uh, uh, various things that can happen. Remember that uh, we were one single cell. Okay, the mother's egg and the father's sperm, when they combine, when it fertilizes, it's single cell. That single cell multiplies and then the baby is uh, born, right? So all cells have the same copy of DNA. But then different parts of the DNA expresses in different parts of our body, different uh, uh, cells. That's called cell differentiation, right? So this one is known. That is uh, how a cell converts only some part of its gene into action in a particular cell, okay? So when a DNA is transcribed into messenger RNA, okay, only some part of the uh, gene is uh, switched on. Only those uh, part of the DNA is copied into mRNA, messenger RNA, and comes out for making protein. That's a well-known one. There is a, another way in which the cell regulate what part of the gene will be expressed in that cell. That is where the RNA interference comes in. So once a particular uh, uh, length of the uh, DNA is uh, converted into a messenger RNA and comes out, the RNA interference actually omits parts of that uh, uh, mRNA and then uh, shortens it like, uh, you know, an editor will edit uh, a story and make it compact, right? In the same way it makes compact. Thereby, there is a second way in which a cell can regulate how much of the uh, 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 genetic information gets translated into protein in that particular cell. So this second process is where the uh, RNA interference comes into picture. That's what is called as RNA interference because it interferes with the uh, uh, messenger RNA. Okay. So uh, this is how it happens. I mean, uh, the, uh, there is a thing called Dyser a kind of a chemical that actually uh, uh, splices the uh, messenger RNA, right? And then a uh, certain part of the uh, uh, messenger RNA is what gets translated and uh, finally comes into the uh, protein, right? So this is what is uh, RNA interference. It's a second way of regulating the gene expression in a cell.